a game here, soybeans and corn. In the town of Paris in Kenosha County. It's a rural community. We strive to keep it that way, actually. Town officials say they enjoy a certain way of life. These fields are used to harvests. So it's going to change their way of life here, I think. But town president Virgil Gentz says not this kind. No, nothing like this. No, sir. Instead of corn and beans, the cash crop this year may be TVs and computer screens. One farmer in the area tells us he's been approached about selling to possibly make way for a massive Foxconn manufacturing plant. He's not alone. This is the Rossi farm here in Paris. It's more than 400 acres, and the landowner tells me he would be willing to sell if the price is right, but even this property alone would not be large enough for the proposed Foxconn facility. Foxconn appears to still be on the hunt to acquire as much as 1,000 acres for a campus that may one day employ 13,000 people. Landowners on the Mount Pleasant Sturdivant line tell Fox 6 they too are in the mix. Before they've nailed down where they will build, there is speculation more facilities may be on the way. In an exclusive interview with Fox 6 political reporter Theo Keith, House Speaker Paul Ryan hints Foxconn's interests may go well beyond Racine and Kenosha counties. But they also uh, want to tap into our intellectual talents in Madison and Milwaukee as well. So what we are getting from Foxconn is that they are committing to Wisconsin. And so we do anticipate that they're going to be more than just this one location uh, in, in Racine-Kenosha area. And so this is, to me, a very good game changer for our state. It's a great development. 